Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome to lesson 19, uh, place value to 20. And in this lesson, uh, you will be teaching, I will show you how to teach your child uh, the concept of place value, at least up to, up to uh, 20 things or the number 20. And so this will just be kind of the uh, initial exposure, if you will, to, for your child uh, to the concept of place value. Here's what you'll need for this lesson. Uh, I call these the place value cups, and uh, obviously these are homemade. Uh, and just I have some different size cups there, and as you, you can see, I've written ones, tens, hundreds. They're glued and taped to a foam board, and this has served me well over the years. You might be able to make something a little nicer, <laughs> but this does the job. So, uh, and, and in just a, a minute or two, uh, I will show you how we will be using that. All right, I have 20 craft sticks here. Of course, they look like this, six inch craft sticks. And uh, if you want, you could also use straws, which are of course easier to get, but uh, I like these and these are kids. I think kids prefer these too. They're easy to pick up and bundle and stuff. And uh, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, what else? Rubber bands. Uh, I have a few rubber bands here because we're going to be bundling uh, these craft sticks shortly. And finally, uh, magnetic numerals. Um, I have uh, two each of all the numerals from zero to nine. And we'll get into that in just a little while. We'll be working with this about halfway through the lesson, perhaps. So let's move these out of the way. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the craft sticks ready here. And you can tell your child, um, look, I'm going to place uh, one craft stick in here in the ones cup. And I'm going to keep counting uh, craft sticks until I have nine in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And now comes the, the very most important part of the lesson. Um, I want to count out, you can tell them, I want to count on another craft stick, but here's what I have to do. You can only have nine craft sticks in the ones. Um, if I have 10, then they have to go over to the tens cup or the tens bucket. So you know there's nine here, here's 10. Uh, I'm gonna bundle that here with a rubber band and it's going to go in the tens cup and let's continue. And now I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Um, we know there's 10 there and I'm going to put 11. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I know that there are 10 there, so there must be nine there. So if I add another to 20, we've got to get them back over here in the, uh, in the tens uh, cup. So I'm going to take all these once again and bundle them up and uh, put them right here 
in the tens cup. So now we have two bundles of tens in the tens cup. And as your child knows, because he's been, hopefully he's been with you so far, um, he knows that there are 20 in there because you've counted them out for him. And at this point, you can show him, well, uh, in a little while, you're going to learn this great trick called counting by tens. And what you do is it's the fast way to count. You just skip all the numbers and count by tens. So you show them that you can go 10, 20, instead of having to count them all one at a time. And of course, you can tell them you can keep going 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 to 100. Um, he may not understand that now, but that's just a little teaser. Uh, gives him something to look forward to, and it will make a lot of sense to him once we get into uh, bigger numbers here with the uh, place value cups. All right, so let's take this bundle apart, and uh, we're going to do a, a counting on exercise now. I'm just going to put, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, you don't tell your child, let's say just put five in there, but don't tell them how many you're putting in there. And you can say, well, um, I could, uh, I want to count all of the, uh, the, the craft sticks in here now, but I don't, you know, I already know there's 10 here, so why should I bother taking those apart? Why don't I just count on from 10? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 craft sticks in the place value cups. And of course, you can do that with several of the teen numbers. Um, so uh, he, can, he or she can practice a little bit um, with their counting on skills. And uh, right now, obviously, this is just, we're just following um, a set of, of rules or step-by-step or -step procedure. And that's really a good way to start place value. You want to just make it very simple, and we'll build on this as, uh, as your child learns bigger and bigger numbers and we go deeper and deeper into place value. All right, uh, now let's uh, introduce some numerals to this, uh, to what we're doing here. So I'm going to uh, move all these right here. Here's my place value cups, ones, tens. And you're probably saying, well, you haven't said anything about the hundreds yet. And you could tell your, your child that, well, um, we'll be using that when we get into big, big, big numbers. And uh, hopefully he'll be OK with that. Um, but we're not, obviously, we're not using that right now. So let's uh, expand on this activity by using uh, these these uh, numerals, let's call them numerals here, if you will. Um, once again, we're going to go back to the way we started, counting uh, one at a time and putting them into the ones cubs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stop right there and say, well, look, here's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to find a nine here. And of course, six and nines do double duty. Well, one's just the other upside down. And I want to put a nine right by that cup. So that kind of reminds me how many uh, craft sticks we have in there. But now, what's going to happen when I add one more and we go to 10? And your child should know that according to our rule, you can only have nine in the ones cup. So you add 10, bundle it up into a bundle of 10, and put it in the tens cup. And of course, obviously now we have 10, not 9. So here's a very key thing uh, that you're, you're going to show your child. We have one bundle of 10 and no ones. And uh, once again, here is another key thing you can do. Push those two 
digits, numerals together, and that tells you how many sticks you have all together, craft sticks. Ten. Um, once again, uh, you don't have to get into the intricacies of uh, place value. We're pretty much just following a, a protocol here, but this is a great way to start. Let's, uh, let's add um, some, some more sticks here. So you can count them out, and, and of course you can count on, and you could say, well, look, I know there's 10 in there, so why should I bother to count them? I'm just going to count on. 11, 12, 13, and then you can ask your child, well, now what do I need to do with these numbers? And hopefully, he, hopefully she or he will look and say, well, there's one bundle of 10, and now there's three, so we've got to replace it with the numeral three. And of course, if they don't get this, and they probably won't in the beginning, you'll have to help a lot. So. And now the key thing, because all you see now is a one and a three, which uh, doesn't mean much, you push them together or tell your child to push them together and say, I know that there's 13 uh, craft sticks in there. And uh, that's, that's the beauty of doing the exercise this way. And of course, the key thing is to push these together and show how the, the number uh, they see here is exactly the amount of craft sticks that are in uh, the cups. And of course you could do this with other teen numbers uh, all the way up to 20 and I think uh, I don't have to show you how to do that. Or you could uh, reverse the activity. So let's take all of these out and start with the, num with, uh, with the numerals. Let's say you put a 1 there and uh, let's use an eight. And you tell your child, okay, we're gonna do it backwards now. Can you put in uh, the craft sticks that the, that the numerals are telling you to put in there? And hopefully he'll go, oh yeah, that's one bundle of tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single craft sticks. And then uh, you can ask your child, well, how many uh, craft sticks are in there all together? And if he doesn't do it, hopefully he will. He'll push these numbers together or you'll have to help him. And he will say, I know how many are in there. There's 18. So you can do the activity both ways. And um, Practice this a lot until, until your child can really do it quite easily. And this is a great, great uh, way to, to get into the early stages of understanding place value because it really is a difficult concept for kids. It's, it's very challenging. Uh, so repeat, repeat this lesson very often until, until it's obvious that your child can do it uh, reasonably effortlessly um, and I think I need to say at this point that this is a key skill a key skill that that your child will need to uh, to go on through uh, all mathematics you must understand place value it's really the basis of our whole number system so I'm not trying to scare you by that, but uh, slowly work your way uh, uh, through the, con you will slowly be working your way through the concepts of place value, and this is a start. And the last thing I want to say is you can also use these as like a, um, a count the days activity. So, you know, maybe you start at the beginning of the year or something like that, and uh, well, just like we were doing, uh, every day you put in a, a Sticks and of course I'm putting in eight here, nine, and then you could do what we just did. You could say, "Well, we're coming on the the tenth day, so you know what we have to do, right? It's the tenth day, and uh, your child will put that in there and say, "Oh, can't have ten there, only nine. Tens have to go in the tens cup, and." You bundle it, 
and you put it in. So that's called counting the days. And uh, that is lesson 19, place value to 20.